Hello, I'm Tonic, and I'm going to show you how to port codes on SOCOM Combined Assault. Now, first off, what you want to do is find a code that you wish to port. In this tutorial, I'm going to use ice skating as an example. Now, first off, what you want to do is select your code. Now, after you selected your code, you want to open up your dump, the 2.0 after patch. Now what you want to do is hit G on your keyboard. It will open a box. You want to put your code in as raw data zero zero whatever and hit enter. Now there you go. That is the ice skating address and the 2.0 dump. Now what you first want to look at is the highlighted area, which is C8. Now go down four spaces. C8 42. 023C. Now you want to remember that. Now well, what you want to do is open up your after patch 4.0 combined assault dump. And now you want to hit G again. This will save you a lot of time. Punch code, the old one. Now after that you want to hit Control F. Now this will bring up a fine string box. Now you want to have as hex string selected. And now what we want to do is look back at the dump if you can't remember what it was and put in the put in the top bar. And then what you want to do is hit enter or okay. Now usually it will take you straight to the address, in this case it did, and as you see, I already have mine labeled. Now that is a way to port simple codes. That is the most fastest way. Now let's say you want to port a code that has the function of a jar. Uh, a good example of that code would be Seiko Hands uh, Explosives. Now what we're going to do is hit, go back to our old dump and hit G put our code into the box and hit enter. Now as you see that is the function of jar which stands for jump and load. Now an easy way to port this code is by loading the function. Now to find a function, the basic function, you can hit the right arrow key on your keyboard. Now as you see it's took you to the function which would be this right here. Now, you can hit enter and select the address and copy. And then you can hit cancel. Okay, whatever it is. Now you want to open up your after patch dump. Hit G again. Paste your code. Control V. Whatever. Now it will take you to an address that is not correct, as we may have seen. See? It's not correct. Now, a way to port this is you can hit Control V. Enter the following, enter the data, which is going to be B0 FF BD27. Now you want to hit Enter. Now, if you're looking around the code and it doesn't really match up, as we see, we'll follow down the addresses. We'll follow these two right here 302. With 30, 20, 10, 2D. Well, we'll look. 30, 20, 10, 2D. Well, to make sure, we'll start looking at codes below that point. E7B700C. Well, as you see, it doesn't match up. So, what you want to do in your after patch dump, you want to get your keyboard and hit F5. Now, this will jump you to another referral that the data is given off. If it still doesn't match up, we'll hit F5 again. As we'll see, it doesn't hit up. Now sometimes this could take a good amount of time. So I'm gonna hit F5 again. Gonna hit it one more time. One more time. <laughs> until we find the correct data. Now when we find something that we think that may work, we want to compare the data again. Whoops. Now, as you see, we're comparing the data. Now, I'm going to compare the data beyond the point of F or 7F B0000. 
Well, compare any data. And it's almost matching up. Still doesn't match up just quite. Doesn't match up, so we'll hit it again. Now we're going to compare it again. Now we're going to compare it below that point. Zero, zero, A, zero, eight, eight, two, D. Well, we got a match right there. So, what you want to do is go to Analyzer, Invoke Analyzer, which mine's already invoked. You don't have to invoke it all the way, just a good amount of point. Now you want to hit, well, mine's already higher, but you want to hit Space, and now you want to hit F3. Now, as you see, it's took us to the code. Well, this is what I mean by porting a jar. The function is never really the same. As you see, the data is changed because it jumps to a different address. 0C, 115, B4, 10. Well, as you see, 0C, 15, C, E, 8, or E8. Well, basic codes that use a nope. You can still nope, use the same data as noping it. Whoops. Whoops, didn't lost my place. Some codes, like say goes all explosives, use a nope. You can use the same data. But if you but if you try to port a code, say like switch teams or anything else, you need to find you need to find the new data to where the data will jump to. Now that I'll explain in another tutorial later on in the future. But this is basically how you port your own codes on any game. This can work on any game, any series. It can be ported from series to series. Um, this tutorial was by Tonic. If you need any more, if you have any questions about this tutorial, you can ask it at www.darksidehackers.com or dshcodes.com. Um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. Thank you.